Hey everybody, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook and Scan and Cut Jam Sessions. Okay, this is a Regal split font that I have done um, and have in the free files section on my page. And as you see, I have went ahead and added the um, two horizontal lines. I just did that by adding two tri or two rectangles and thinned them and lengthened them. Okay. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to come up here, I'm going to select it all, come up to Path, and I'm going to click Union. And I'm going to let it union itself all together here. Okay, so there it's all union. I'm going to unclick the Show Outlines Only. Okay, so there it is. Let me see if I can pull it apart yet. Nope. So let's come up here and click break apart. Yep, that's where it gets all crazy. Come over here to the show outlines only and as you see it still has all of the outlines. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to select that. And I'm going to move it down. Because I want to be able to add a name in here. Okay, and for the sake of time and boredom I'm just going to add my name. <laughs> okay, so let's increase the size. That's good. So it's already matching that. Let's come up, highlight this one, and take it straight down. Let's bump it up a smidge. Okay, so you want to make sure they're overlapping on each side. Take that down. Alright, so let's come up here to Path and try Union. And let's see what happens. We have lost a ton of the pieces of the font. And we just can't have that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here with a knife and I'm going to cut right through these lines. Okay, so we're actually opening the path. So we're going to come back in here. We're going to highlight that again. And we're going to try the union and see what it looks like now. And sometimes it takes a little while. Okay, and now this is what it looks like. But because I opened the path, that changes how this is joined. Okay? Let me decrease the size of this. Get it on the page there. So I need to figure out what I can do to make that look a little bit better. The easiest thing is to use the eraser. We're going to bump this up to about 300 because I'll tell you what if you go into preview it will still be cut out so it's going to cut through all of that oops I didn't want to click that nope I gotta unclick that so you're gonna come in here and you're just gonna start erasing and it's actually pretty qu quick because if you think about it, let's say you do this in black or red or whatever, if you have these little hangers right here you aren't going to see it. It's not going to be a big deal, but if you leave this whole thing attached it's going to be a big deal because it's going to cut right out of your vinyl. I mean yes, you can lay it on there and it's going to look fine but sometimes the assembly can be kind of a pain in the rump. Okay, so let's finish all of this and that's also a trick like if you're doing any lettering and you start to lose um, like some of the centers of your letters that's a way to get to preserve the centers of your letters so that they don't disappear okay oops
Oh, come on. So if you did what I just did and accidentally erased the line, you can go back and take your pen tool and draw it in. Unless you have my pen that evidently ran out of ink. Okay, so now I have that <laughs> redrawn. So let's take this back down to 30, oops, to 35. And let's have a look at it. Okay, so that looks good. And you just go ahead and export it to your stick. But um, that's how you go about preserving any little details that start to disappear. Alright guys, thanks a lot.